Well, here's a, an update on our quarantine. We're like day 57 or something like that. But here's a garden update. So we've planted everything from seed this year. We're not doing nursery stock and boy, I'm glad we did do that. Uh, it's a lot cheaper and the plants seem to be healthier. Uh, you know, we, we started in early March. We had a heating tray and grow lights inside and now this is the stuff that's been hardened off. These are all beefsteak tomatoes here. Uh, we got some basil started. And then we have San Marzano tomatoes, a ton of them. Uh, we've grown a lot more than we can handle in our garden. And of course we're giving them away, some away to our friends and neighbors. Um, there's some uh, pickling cucumber, normal cucumber, all the rest of the cucumbers and zucchinis and stuff. We And uh, sugar pie pumpkins we've planted either in our garden over there, which is still weedy. Forgive all the weeds. It'll look great someday soon. Um, the only peppers we had were... Uh, what do they call them? Carolina Reapers, supposedly the hottest pepper on the planet. And these are they. Those are the only pepper seeds I had. And then we have more basil, uh, some more tomatoes, uh, Brussels sprouts. And then these are called pak choy. It's a relative of bok choy for some greens. Uh, let's see. Under the grow lights in the house, I'm not going to go in the house. We have uh, sunflowers, mammoth sunflowers, and some ornamental plants. Uh, oh look, the, the pole beans are starting to come up along the fence line here. Our artichoke is doing well. Over in that patch there is some bodacious white corn. We're going to expand the corn patch and sow a lot more seed this weekend now that the ground is actually warm enough to sow directly into the soil. And so we'll have some, some corn for a few weeks in the summer. It'll be offset. Some will be ready before the others. Here's our Walla Walla Sweet Onion Patch. And those are doing very well. We're going to have to clear some weeds. Uh, we got some nice sugar peas along that fence line there. Our Swiss chard is, we've been going through it and it just keeps growing back. The black stuff is a, it's a landscape cloth. And what you do is you, you lay it out and this is from last year. We didn't pull it up this year. We decided not to till. We're just going to fertilize very well. But you, uh, you lay it out and then you have to put mulch on top. And so we have some more straw to put there and then we're going to buy some more straw. And then it, it really does a good job of keeping the weeds out and we don't need to use uh, herbicides. So let's see, what else do we have? We got, so this is where our pool is going to go. We got some sugar pie pumpkins amongst the weeds there. Uh, there's a fig tree, fig bush. Trampoline. And this is a Bartlett pear tree. Uh, all of the fruit trees were are uh, blooming during the perfect weather, I, uh, weather conditions. I mean, the bees were out and everything and every fruit tree is just loaded. So this is the Bartlett pear. Here's our new chicken flock. They're growing. They were all little baby chicks at the beginning of March. And they'll probably, they'll probably be laying uh, in August. Let's see here. This is an, uh, I believe it's an Anjou pear. And we got a lot of fruit on it as well. This is uh, urban farming, man. This is a Honeycrisp. And you'll see all the Honeycrisp apples. I mean, like I say, good. yeah, they taste very good. They're loaded, completely loaded. See, there's a bee there. That's why I haven't sprayed this tree yet. Uh, you know, you got to spray your fruit trees to prevent uh, apple maggots and stuff. Otherwise, everything will have a worm in it. But you also have to give the bees time to 
uh, be done with it. So it's a delicate dance. This is our asparagus patch. Not much going on right now. Uh, we did plant some sugar pie pumpkins as well. Oh, see, there's a, an asparagus coming up. Lots of weeds. But I'm not going to spray where the food is. Hey there, sunny boy. Here's our cherry tree. Like I said, the fruit trees are loaded. Look at, look, these, every branch just has hundreds of cherries on them. That's a lot of cherry pie. That's a lot of cherry pie. And let's see, and then this is our Fuji apple tree. And it too is completely loaded. I mean, I'm probably gonna have to cull some of the fruit so the branches don't break this we fall. We have a lot of apple cider. A lot of apple cider. We, this tree, we like to uh, press the apples. Uh, for some reason, these Fuji apples are particularly sweet. Uh, and even when you make apple cider to, to uh, ferment, uh, typically one would have to add sugar to bring up the uh, value, uh, the, the uh, gravity but these apples are so sweet, you don't even need to add sugar. It's incredible. There's so much pollen on it. Yeah. So that's, that's our garden update. And uh, I hope everybody's doing, doing well. The uh, quarantine sucks. I can't wait for it to be over. And uh, yeah, take care. We're gonna probably do I've noticed uh, the videos that are doing pretty well right now are the ones are that are cooking related uh, yeah. it, it seems like a lot of people are stuck at home and cooking you should show them how to make the the um, little ribs okay yeah we could do that we could do some barbecue videos yeah, we actually have 109 subscribers. That means there's a lot of people bored if people are subscribing to us, but keep it up. Hey, why don't you subscribe if you're watching this? What the heck? We're gonna do some more fun stuff. We haven't posted that much lately. Thanks for 100 subscribers. Yeah, but you know, we're bored now. So we're gonna do some more videos, more garden updates, more cooking, and that's about it. Everybody take care and be well.